If you are somebody that loses the point after using the glass, are not able to defend the Fibora correctly with the glass, there are better options to do that. And it's not always that you have to use the glass. Sometimes there is a different way to defend and that's what we're going to do today. Venga, venga. Vamos. gentlemen welcome today we're going to work on offensive defending because sometimes it's not always the best option to use the glass so we're going to do three situations today going forward with the smash following the Fibora and playing very aggressive and without the glass and blocking because I will tell you in the video <laughs> Sometimes your opponents have very, very good follies and all of slice and I, after you use the glass, it is not always good to use the glass because maybe your contact point is lower than if you don't use the glass. Or sometimes if you use the glass, no one can come into the net and pam or ping. Depends on the situation and can get the ball out of the court and wins the point. So first thing that we're going to do, Noah, you start at the net and I'm going to block everything. So I am not allowed to use the glass, so I folly or half folly. And this is a very good exercise if you are in trouble and your opponents have such good follies. And the moment they're playing a sweet folly, then you're going to lob. Okay, so this is also a good exercise if, if you want to work on your stamina. <laughs> um, no, this is a good exercise uh, for Noah at the net to make his folly shorter, so we talked about it yesterday when we were playing a match. Um, because you need to have a short backswing if somebody plays fast. So one of the most common questions on the YouTube channel, Sven, what do I have to do when my opponent plays super fast? slower your shorten your backswing and just keep the ball in and wait till the ball's easy for me i also have to make a very small backswing and also a very good thing to think about is to remain low so never do this try to remain on the same height uh, and you see the rhythm is very very fast and you just have to wait until the ball is easier so let's do that if we have if you have an easy ball Destroy me. Yes. Um, if I have an easy ball, I play low. Yep. Yeah, or Chiquita. Venga.
So this is also very good exercise to do for a good warm up because now our heart rate will heart rate will spike up uh, and you are very active at the net uh, and at the back. So now we start now uh, uh, by doing the same and then we um, then I am going to try to make you move even though you play fast to me. Okay. So because this is the next level that if if Noah now, the defender, will play fast to me. So if he accelerates to me, then I'm able to play slow to the fence, or slow to the middle, or a good shot in the corner. So um, I can get out of that situation and I can move him around. Um, because I played this, a match uh, last time, and then um, maybe Noah gets very close to the net. And then also, uh, it's not always good to accelerate, because he expects that I'm going to accelerate. So then it's always also a very good option to play slow in the center, slow to the fence, to slow down the pace and to make him move, even though he plays fast to me. variate and try to win the net with the lob or the chiquita. Um, so if it's too easy, play slow on my feet or high over my head. Yeah? yeah? Bingo. Okay, second thing we're going to do is uh, Noah's going to play a lob uh, over my head. <laughs> that would be a good place for the lob. Uh, and he's taking, uh, he's going to defend the fence. So he's going to play on my left shoulder. And a lot of players, they're going to defend the fence. So in my opinion, you have three options in this situation. Either you destroy the net player, so I, I will kill Noah. Uh, or I play uh, to the fence. I can do that slow or fast. And slow to the center. Um, so this is another thing of super offensive defending. It's a very good method and if you see a good tennis player and he's going to defend uh, the net position very aggressively, then it's good to variate because sometimes they are very good in blocking. So sometimes try to play slow to the center, so we're going to find the best way to kill Noah now. Vamos.
So this is a very good method to work on your stamina, but also to experience different situations. And now your mind will recognize the situation. So if you do this in the training, you know, oh, I did this in the training. You make a decision very early on. And I think that's very powerful if train situation training. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's warm here. <laughs> oh. Mucho calor, tío. Okay, so now um, it's also super offensive defending, but now um, if I see that Noah has a Fibora, um, so I'm playing slightly on his partner's court, so he has to cross over, and most of the time he will play that ball into the corner over there. So now I'm going to step just over the line trying to volley your Fibora. Yeah? And after that I will change. So if you see I am over the white line. You can also play slow in the center. Yep. So this is the game. If I think, oh, no one is destroying me, I step in and then you think, okay, slow to the center. Yep. And that's the game we play against each other then. Okay. Yeah. Watching. Thank you Noah for the great training session. Uh, uh, we are soaking wet. Well, I am at least. Uh, so uh, thank you all for watching. And if you want to recommend any video that you want me to make, let me know below and we will answer that video. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios. Ciao.